Welcome. In this video, we will show you how to create a simple mobile application and then how to deploy that application to mobile phones. So let's write an easy mobile application using TD Mobile. You see the IDE, IDE here. On the top, you have the ribbon bar with all the settings for your application. You have the application tree with all the objects of your application. You have the source code of one page here. This one page you can also change into edit mode. Here you can design your page using the layout controls available and using the property pane here on the right. So if I click on the title here, for example, I can set the caption of the title. Let's write a small calculator. And if I enter that, then this will be set in the layout. Now in that calculator, I do need um, two data fields to enter values and a button to process the calculation and things like that. So I pick, let me pick a data field and drop that into the main uh, page here. And you see a data field is being created. You can give that data field a specific name. Let me just create another one. Go back to the first and then we can set a caption for this one. Set this to value one. And you see the caption is being applied over the data field. Then value two. Then let's add a push button to calculate the sum of those two fields. See this one here, caption sum. And then another data field that will show the result. Caption of result. Now we can set the data fields themselves to be input types of um, number. So the number keyboard would be shown on my mobile devices. Same for data field two input type um, number and as well for the result that should be an input type of number then as well. Let's save this application here. And now this application is saved. Okay, so now start coding what needs to happen when somebody enters value one and value two and presses the sum button. For coding, I need to change to the outline pane. Here from the outline pane, I'm doing part of the magic that TD Mobile can do. In the client side code, I'm going to define bindings. And these bindings are the, a key architectural element of TD Mobile because those are the, the glue between the um, visible objects, the uh, JavaScript um, functionality, and the uh, backend code that might be called. So now I'll, let me define bindings for all the three fields that I did create on my screen before. Three number bindings, number value one, another number, value two and a number result. So with these bindings, I go back to the design screen now and assign these bindings to the screen objects. Value one has a value bind of value one now. So get set means um, it can set and get the value um, from backend operations. And then for the value two, value two, and you can imagine what's going to happen here for the result. I'm setting the value bind to the binding result. So now I can go to the source again and start coding the operations or the functionality of my application. 
So what I want to do is create a new operation. I give that new operation a name of O sum. So this operation shall return the sum of field one added to field two. The we need to give parameters to that operation, two number values, number, and define the binding, value one. Remember the binding is the glue between the visual object and the backend logic and all the calculations we are going to do. And binding for value two. Then this operation shall return a number, which is the default here. Just have to set the binding to the result. And then we need to have names for the parameters nv1, nv2, and then define a local variable for the return value. Define that as a number value. And return. Now in the actions, we can start coding, and the coding here is really simple. We just do a set and return, and then have the coding assistant fill this out for us equals and we and we one plus and we two. Then we need to return this um, at same level return and return. So that's basically all the code I have to write for the calculation. Now what we didn't do is assign the execution of this operation here to, uh, to the button. Go to the contents, the push button here, in events define a new event, click, on click, and what I do is invoke and I choose an operation here from the drop down, which is O sum. So this should really do everything I need to do. And now let me save this code here. And with um, the go pressing the go button, I'm actually starting compiling this all and a browser window will be opened where I can test what I have coded. So here's my little application. I can adjust this to be a little more similar to a phone size. Let me enter value above here, 240 plus 240. Press the sum button and the result is 480. So here's my first small TD Mobile application in action. Now I want to publish this application to my IIS Internet Information Server and try that application from my iPhone. So on my local host here, this is the machine I want to deploy it to. I give this application a name or a directory of calculator. Don't need to provide a username and password because it's local. And now I go back to the project tab and click the publish button. It's being um, compiled and published now. Now let's try this on iPhone. I have a button for my application on my iPhone now. Just tap on the calculator icon and this page is loading. Now let me make that horizontal. If I tap in the data field, you see that the numeric keyboard comes up because I have defined that as a numeric um, input type. So 347 plus 56 tap on some and here is the result of my deployed application. So that was quite easy, wasn't it? More information is available on our website www.guptatechnologies.com slash tdmobile or on YouTube www.youtube.com slash guptatechnologies.